Hi students, in this video you will be learning balancing chemical equations. For many students, balancing chemical equations is a very difficult task. So inshallah, so it will become easy for you. First write LHS and RHS. LHS in the reactants and RHS in the products. Then check which atoms are present like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Write carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Similarly for RHS also, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Then count number of atoms of each. How many atoms are there for carbon? C3, that means 3 carbon atoms are there. So write here 3. And then you have 8 hydrogen atoms and 2 oxygen atoms on LHS. Now check for on RHS. On RHS you have 1 carbon atom, 2 hydrogen atom and oxygen here 2 and here 1. That means total 3 oxygen atom. Now on LHS you have 3 carbon, on RHS you have 1 carbon. So this carbon must be 3. So to make this carbon 3, simply multiply with 3. If you multiply with 3, then this 3 is multiplied to C as well as with this oxygen. So now the new carbon number will be 3 and new oxygen number will be 3 to the 6. Now check for hydrogen. On LHS you have 8 hydrogen, on RHS you have only 2 hydrogen. How to make these 2 hydrogen into 8? Multiply this with 4. 4 to the 8. That means the new hydrogen is 8 now. But at the same time, the number of oxygen changed to 4. That means already you have already you have 6 here and then 4. That means total 10. Now compare. Carbon you have 3 on LHS, 3 on RHS balanced. Hydrogen you have 8 on LHS, 8 on RHS balanced. But oxygen you have 2 on LHS, 10 on RHS. So simply multiply with 5, 5 to the 10. Thus you check here 3, 8, 10, 3, 8, 10. So your equation is balanced. One more equation. Write the equation first and then write LHS, RHS, LHS the atoms. You have iron atom, you have oxygen atom and you have aluminium. Similarly on RHS you have iron, you have oxygen, you have aluminium. Now check number of atoms of each. For iron you have 2 on LHS. For oxygen you can see 3 you have. Aluminium 1. Iron you have 1. Oxygen you have uh, O3 means 3 here. Aluminium Al2 2. Let us balance it. So here only 1 iron is there. So multiply with 2. So this iron will become 2. Now oxygen is already balanced here. 3 and 3. Aluminium on LHS you have 1. On RHS you have 2. That means here on LHS you have to multiply with 2. If you multiply with 2, it will become 2 aluminium. Thus, this is your balance. Balance one more equation. Write LHS, RHS. On LHS you have sodium and then you have oxygen. You have hydrogen. Hydrogen already we have written here. No. Sulfur. Oxygen already we have written here. The same element present on the right hand side. N A O H and S. Now number of atoms of sodium. One we have. Oxygen one here and four here. Five. Hydrogen one here and two here. Three. Sulfur one. Sodium we have only two. Oxygen four here and one here. Five. Hydrogen we have two. Sulfur we have one. Now let us balance. On LHS you have one sodium here. On RHS two. So we have to multiply with so that they should balance so I am writing 2 here so 2 Na but number of oxygen changed now so here 2 oxygen and here 4 so total number of oxygen will be 6 and hydrogen 2 and 2 4 now check for another element oxygen here 6 here 5 if you work for oxygen it look very complicated because if you write any number here or here for oxygen it will become very complicated. So in this case, we will check it. We will check this at the end. Now check for hydrogen. Here we have four hydrogen. Here we have two hydrogen. So we should get two more hydrogen. So if you write two here, then the number of hydrogen will become four. 
2 and 2. 2 2 is a 4. But the number of oxygen will also change. So here 2 oxygen and here 4 oxygen. That means 6 oxygen. Now you can check 2, 6, 4, 1. 2, 6, 4, 1. Thus the equation is balanced. Let us balance one more equation. Write LHS, RHS, potassium and then chlorine and then oxygen. Same elements. Number of potassium on LHS 1 and uh, chlorine is also 1, oxygen 3. Here potassium RHS 1, chlorine 1, oxygen 2. Potassium and chlorine are balanced. Now check with oxygen. Here 3, here 2. If you write 2 here, it will become 4, but it will be unbalanced. And if I write uh, 2 here, then that will be helpful. If I write 2 here, then it will become 2, 3 is a 6. And I have to write 3 here. So that 3, 2 is a 6. But the number of chlorine and oxygen we have to check again. So chlorine now became 2. And potassium became 2. Here we have chlorine that is unbalanced then multiply with 2 so you will be getting 2 potassium as well as 2 chlorine 2 2 6 2 2 6 that means the equation is balanced